I was called and told by Raymond Chow, you should get to the hospital. They're taking Bruce to the hospital. And I was there way before Bruce got there. But so eventually, the ambulance arrived. It took a long time. Everything took too long a time. He got to the hospital, and I saw him laying there. And I saw them do a big injection of something right into his heart. And I remember turning to a, a medical person standing there and saying, I couldn't say, is he dead? I said, is he alive? And they, they shook their heads and said, no. And that was just unbelievable. It must be a mistake, you know, it's, it's not real. What can I say? It was. My memories are more like glimpses, but I remember primarily the funeral in Hong Kong because it was so massive and sort of being dragged through that because it was chaotic. And I remember my dad's mom taking us to get candy and feeling really happy about that. Will you tell me what teacher died of? forensic scientists from around the world came up with the conclusion that he had had a hypersensitive reaction to this medication that he had been given for a headache and that that had caused the fluid on his brain and um, that he had succumbed to that. Still something that people cannot believe. He was well. There was nothing wrong. How could a healthy man die? And then there's all this stuff about um, you know, how he died, the sinister ways in which he died. He had a um, aneurysm or, or the death hands got him or, you know. He was murdered. They gave him the dim mop, they gave him a death touch. There's absolutely positively something a little shady about the way that it all went down. How he could, uh, you know, pass away at that age, you know, but it, it does happen. So I, I, I learned to cope with it and deal with it, but it always puzzled me. The fact that my family is cursed and the very sad and tragic circumstance that my brother died. You know, those are sort of the themes that pop up. They wrote so many stupid stories about him. The Tong killing him, and he died of drugs, and that sold magazines. And of course, he died in Betty Ting Pei's apartment, so there's no denying that. The decision was made by the producers to say that he had died at home. When that news got out that he had not died at home, the tabloid press went crazy, but my mom knew he had been at a meeting and doing his films, and she was dealing with his death and taking care of her kids, and all of that gossip was just the tabloid press trying to make it bigger and crazier than it needed to be.